Can you tell that I dyed my hair darker? I don't know how I feel yet. Welcome back everyone. Today's video is going to be a new try to get ready with me. I have some makeup that I picked up recently from Ulta Beauty that I want to try out, including a marshmallow sponge. Obviously the most important thing in this video. I got the Tartlet XL mascara, which I just threw violently to the ground. I have some new lip products from Fenty Beauty. I have one of the new blushes from Singe Beauty. And then I did get the Natasha Denona I Need a Warm Eyeshadow Palette. I have done a video all about this palette. I do eye swatches of every single shade on my eyes. So if you want to see that video, I will link it. But I do also want to do a look with it as well. So that is what we are going to be using today. Let me get you zoomed in and we'll get started. Okay, welcome. I think I had a hair clip. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and clip my hair back. I... Went a little bit darker the last time I went to the salon. I'm not really sure how I feel yet, but I do this every time I dye my hair, dye my hair dark. I'm like, oh my gosh, what did I just do? But it's fine. Everything will be okay. It's just hair. We can change it back. Everything's working out for me. Huh. But first up, I have been loving the Sigma Beauty Skin Tint. I think I, I might have used this in my last Get Ready With Me, but I've been talking about this one a lot. I typically do use it with a brush, but I bought this marshmallow sponge from the Ulta Beauty collection, and I really want to use this one today. Wait, wait, I didn't even realize that it was like, it's like you're toasting a marshmallow. I didn't even, I thought it was just a, this makes it so much cuter. Are you joking me? Well, my day is not made because I didn't realize this, uh, I just went and got it wet. <laughs> I just thought it was a white sponge. Wow, that makes it so much better. Okay, so for the Sigma Beauty, I don't know why. Now I've just gotten into the habit of putting it on this way. I don't know. I did it the first time because I was doing like some short form videos, but now I just do it. But I really have been enjoying this one from Sigma. It's basically all that I've been wearing for complexion if I'm doing like actual um, foundation. So I'm just going to use... This is... I've never been happier. If you don't know me, I love s'mores. I love, I mean, I have a tattoo of a gelato on me, of ice cream on my ankle. I love s'mores, I love dessert, but I love marshmallows. I love hot chocolate with my marshmallows in it. Ah, oh, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. This was like a $4 sponge. And the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty is going on right now. So in my last Ulta haul, it's kind of like a hybrid video. I do my haul, and since I just got a few products, I also do talk about the 21 Days of Beauty calendar. I think this video is going up on Friday, and Friday, I believe the deal was that I'm excited about is the Cosrx like peptide serum is gonna be on sale. So make sure to check that one out because I do think that that one will sell out too. And then I'm just gonna use my Natasha Denona concealer. I'm just throwing everything today. I can't find my mirror that's usually here. I've been moving stuff all around because I've been filming all over my apartment, but I'm just gonna use the Natasha Denona. And I really do feel like the Sigma, I really feel like the Sigma covers so well. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of spot concealing. My Sigma um, Skin Perfector is in the shade three. I have a discount over there, discount code with Sigma Samantha. And then with Natasha Denona, my concealer shade is N4. And I as well have a discount code with Natasha, which is Samantha March, but I love this concealer. I didn't get a new concealer. Why for a second? I was like, did I get a new concealer? Okay. I'm loving this sponge. Oh my gosh. Really just the little things in life that make you happy. I have to wait just a little bit to do my powder. So I'm going to do my brows. So I picked up another one from It Cosmetics. This is their Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil. I got the shade Universal Taupe. So I went through this one recently and I wanted to repurchase another one because it's one of my favorites. Spoolie on one side, a little bit of a like thicker, kind of like Benefit um, Goof Proof on the other. But I have said, because I put this in a project pan, I was like, this is like a never ending brow pencil. Like I felt like even when I was using it every day, like I was not going through it. And I was getting so many comments from you all saying like, yes, you've had yours forever as well. So I was like, might as well pick up the it Cosmetics. I know that I really enjoy it. And I know that it's going to last me a long time. So, and I feel like this is just like one of those like really quick and easy things to be able to do. So I'm just going to quickly fill in my brow. I'm excited though, because like I said, I believe this video is gonna go up on Friday and I will actually be in Maine. 
I have never been to Maine, but my friend Angie and I are going to Portland, Maine. We are hosting another group trip there for 18 women. So excited. Some I have already met. Some went to my Ireland trip. Some went to me and Angie's last Austin trip. Um, so I'm just really excited to meet everyone, see everyone. We're going to be spending the weekend with them in Portland and Angie and I are going a little bit early since we've never been to kind of get settled in and make sure we know all the spots that we chose for our itinerary and you know things like that but super excited i know that i will be having a travel vlog coming for portland maine and then i also would really like to film it's been kind of hard to do what's in people's travel makeup bags when we do these groups because they're so much larger and especially for our weekend trips like we're only there like our itinerary is really just you know, Friday night, all day Saturday, and we usually do a little something Sunday morning. I have the most amount of time, but I really wanna see if I can somehow compile a video of maybe people showing like their eyeshadow palettes and their lip products that they brought. Um, I don't know, maybe something like that. I feel like that maybe could be interesting. Like, and we wouldn't even all have to do it at one time. I can maybe be like, hey, can five people bring it on this time and five people bring it on this time or I don't know, something along those lines. Just to try to do a little bit of something. I really do wanna do like a get ready with me, like with Angie as well in Portland, if we can do that in our hotel room. But sometimes again on the trips, like we're already so busy trying to do too many things, like just doesn't always work out the best for us. But I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and see what we can um, accomplish in there. But like I said, I've never been to Maine and it's been a place I've always wanted to go to. I'm from Iowa originally, so Maine just wasn't like close by. You know, I've been to a lot of like Midwest states, but it's not one of those that like I would have just randomly ended up in Maine. I'm gonna use my L'Oreal bronzer. Um, but I'm excited to go because actually my third book that I wrote, I'm a published author of nine, my third book that I wrote is set in Maine, actually my third and fourth. Um, they are both set in Maine and I've never been, but I have always wanted to go. So that was my way of like learning about Maine. I had this whole Pinterest board of like food and weather and I was like interviewing people that lived there. So I'm just excited to like go see it myself. Like one of the characters names is Portland in the book. Like, I don't know, I'm just, I'm excited to go. It feels kind of crazy because I think I published that book in 2014. So 10 years later, 10 years after writing A Questionable Friendship, I get to go to Maine. So I'm so excited, but I love A Questionable Friendship. That's such a special book to me, my third one, because it was actually my first bestseller, my first um, Amazon bestseller. So I was really proud of that, especially because my first two books are definitely very like my comfort zone. The characters are set in Iowa, again, where I'm from. Some of them are kind of based on like life experiences, like the green ticket. It's based on like this crazy time where I was like managing a massage clinic and like all these like weird things that were happening to me. And I don't know, just different things like that. So a questionable friendship was really the first time that I tried to be more creative on my own and trust myself as a writer. It was the first time that I wrote a dual point of view book because um, the first two books are just written from the main character and her point of view. These ones you go back and forth um, between the different characters. So that was like a little bit more of a, you know, challenge for me. Um, but it was a book that I was really proud of the ending. I still get people that will message me that just read a questionable friendship now. I still have people that will message me and be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that ending. And I'm like, I know. I won't say what happened, but I will say I'm super grateful nothing happened to my husband at the time because like if the FBI would have seized my computer, I would probably be in jail. Luckily, nothing happened though. Nothing, nothing happened, so that's good. Before I do my blush, I'm gonna add on my powder. I've been using this Benefit Power Powder. Shake it off. And I've really been liking it for the under eyes and all over my face. But like I was saying, I feel like I really loved A Questionable Friendship. And then I went back to Chick Lit. My fourth book is, is Chick Lit. It's still set in Maine. It's kind of like a, not a continuation of the third book, but you kind of get a wrap up of some things that happened in the third book. You get like a little peek into those. There's like a slight character crossover um, without needing, you can read the fourth book without reading the third book. And then once again, my fifth book, I went like all in on the, my fifth book is one of my favorites as well because I just challenged myself so creatively as a writer for that one. And I went even darker. I, I think sometimes people, um, 
when they know me and then they read some of my books, especially A Questionable Friendship and Defining Her, my third and fifth, they're like, really? Because the fifth one, like it, I had to put like a warning label on it on Amazon that it's like, it's an adult book and it deals with, um, I mean, it deals with abuse, with with drug use. Um, it's, it's classified as a gritty women's fiction book. And um, yeah, it was a lot of fun to write. It was fun to write characters that are so different from me and it was fun to write characters that are both kind of the villain i really enjoyed that as well like two females who are both like they're the villains in each other's stories and i just i don't know it was just fun it was just fun to write those characters and that's another one that like i still get people who comment people who write in to tell me about Prue and nelly and like what they think of them which is always so fun like as a writer like my favorite thing is getting like feedback from the readers of course like the reviews are so important i always say how important reviews are on amazon um but even just like getting like emails or dms or anything like to know that like my characters can come alive for other people is really one of the coolest things so there's that um but i'm going to do my blush now so i spoke recently about getting in the singe beauty blushes so one of my best friends and again who i'm going to main with angie she has launched her own makeup brand which is singe beauty so she had came out with brushes she now has a sponge a puff makeup bags and then got into color cosmetics and these are the first blushes that she launched so she has four different shades and my favorite is timid tomato i have been wearing this so much and i just think it's such a pretty blush shade and i think it's so flattering on my skin tone i was kind of thinking i would be drawn to riveting rhubarb but it's really been timid tomato that i have been loving on so much and i did a little short where i swatch all of them and i really like these because they are more of a glowy blush so instead of being completely matte they definitely give a little bit of glow to the skin but they're also not super like shiny they're not glittery and they're not necessarily highlighty like i feel like it's not like um you know highlighting like any of like my skin texture or anything like that it's just a really pretty blush and i will say these blushes are so long lasting i've really been really been putting them through the test this past week because i've been in vegas all week it's been super hot um and i've also been trying to do things because i do travel so much i've been gone some like i've had so many people send me this um meme that says like when you've become the friend where people ask hey are you home instead of saying like when's your next trip they're like wondering if you're home and i'm like yeah 100 percent, that's me this is the longest that i have stayed in las vegas between trips in a minute i've been home for like two weeks now i've been really trying to get out there to do the different vegas events and to just to see my friends like dinners with people lunch coffee dates like of course i've been able to do fun things we went to a day club the other day and bryson tiller was performing um, there was a singles event with some of the groups that I work with Vegas girls events and Vegas brunch boys They host these like singles events So I go and help out and like my friends come with me to like help out and and all the things I had a friend in town like it's just it's been a really busy time and this blush has just been like Crushing it like I know when I put this on like blush is usually one of those first things that fade away This blush absolutely not like it's not going anywhere so I have been so impressed with it. I've also been really loving the I Need a Warm palette. Ooh. Like I said, I do have a whole swatch video up with this one. And I have just thought that this is so pretty. I need to decide what I want to do. I have no plans today. I'm literally just, I'm sitting at home. I'm filming. I'm packing for Maine. Like, it's, I'm not like going anywhere. But I think I'm going to go into soft spot. I really do like soft spot. I like that they are... Um, like there's a variety of the matte browns in here. That's what I mentioned in my video It's not just like the same tones of browns. They kind of range from the lighter brown to a darker brown There's some like peachy browns in here So i'm just going to take soft spot and start to blend that really kind of like Blow out the crease area so I just want to do something super simple because as i'm sitting here filming I totally forgot that I scheduled myself a pedicure <laughs> Oh no, I was working on my September goals. And one thing that I said that I want to do is really prioritize self-care because I'm not that I'm totally letting it get away with get away from me, but with traveling so much, I feel like I get home and I'm just like work, 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 clean my apartment, work, 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 unpack, pack. And like at the end of the day, I'm like, I'm still so grateful for this, even though like when I get home, I do feel like I'm kind of crazy and I'm trying to like 
do so many things at once it's still so exciting because i'm still getting to travel to really cool places and have some really cool experiences so um i never want to sound like i'm like not grateful that i'm like oh no i come home from iceland and i have to be busy like it's not what i'm trying to say but um it's just something like i've never traveled this much so it's just it's a new like i don't know if i necessarily want to say lifestyle but it's just new for me right and i'm just trying to like navigate and figure it out the best i can and not like burnout and all the things um but i totally forgot that i scheduled this i do want to focus on self-care like um making sure i have nights where i slow down nights that i do my gratitude practice that i read a book i i just bought the book rich af from vivian too so i've been reading that um doing like I've, I've been trying to do more like facial masks like i bought those like collagen masks from amazon having my hot chocolate with my marshmallows at night but also having like quiet dinners in with my friends and i don't just just focusing on different things like that and um i used to be really good at doing like a massage like once a month or every other month um or like lymphatic drainage things like that um i did find like i scheduled a hair appointment so i felt good about that because it's been a hot minute since i got my hair done um, but I haven't gotten a pedicure in so long and my toes are looking like I haven't gotten a pedicure in so long. So when I was like working on my goals, I scheduled this pedicure and then completely forgot that I did it. So I might even have to like break while I'm filming this to go get that done. But yeah, that's okay. I love the shade push, but I did use that when I was doing the eye swatches. I did. That was the one that I ended up putting all over my eye. So I kind of like, I love fancy snug and homey. I think I'm going to go with snug. I'm gonna go with snug for this one. This is the Sigma F70. I'm gonna put this all over the lid and just do like a pretty fall look. And I kind of just want, like I wanna use the brush cause I want just like kind of these lighter sparkles. If you want a little bit more oomph, you can use your finger. But sometimes I just want like this little like wash of sparkles across the eyes and I think it's so pretty. And I am gonna do, I wanna do another um, shimmer on top as well. But I'd love to know if you have any September goals. I posted just like a little short form video on my second channel. I've been doing some more shorts on my second channel. And then I want to incorporate a long form video um, once a week over there. Second channel, I started to make videos on like healthy habits. I talk about like routines in there. I talk more about PCOS and losing the 30 pounds, um, routines, uh, recipes. Like I posted like a Trader Joe's recipe over there the other day. Then I'm just gonna take a little bit of fancy and put that on top. I'm just gonna use the same brush, just the other side. And I'm just gonna add this like right into the center of the lid. But I also wanna do some book videos over there. My members only video in August was book reviews. That was the most voted on. So I did um, actually the top five best and worst books that I've read this year. And I said that I was thinking about doing like my monthly wrap up book video on my second channel and basically everyone said yes. So I really wanna do that over there and bring back the channel. I haven't posted on it in a year um, because I felt like after my dog was diagnosed with cancer and then passing away, I just really struggled to stick with my healthy habits. And I kind of just, you know, went, had to go through the grieving process. And to me, I, I just didn't feel totally comfortable talking about healthy habits and routines when I was so out of whack because I was so sad. <laughs> So trying to get back into it, my first video is going to be a financial video, which I'm really excited for. It's kind of like expanding on what I was talking about in my eight beauty habits that I changed. And the first section really focuses on finances. So it's going to be a little bit more of an expanded video where I just talk about finances in there um, instead of like keeping it beauty focused to fit with this channel. So if you're interested, you can subscribe to my second channel. It's free free, but I've been posting some um, shorts. And so I post a little short on my September goals, but one was prioritizing self-care. So a lot of times I do liner on the lash line, but I kind of just want to keep it the shadows today because I just think that they're so pretty. And like I said in the swatch video, I just think that this is such a nice palette for fall. I can see myself reaching for it a lot. So I'm just going to take my black liner and just do, I don't even want to go super heavy. I'm just going to put that in the waterline tight line but i'm not gonna do a wind liner today even though it's really hard for me not to but we'll make it through and then taking a pencil brush i'm gonna do a little bit of soft spot and then also ripe on the corners here and i'm just going to run that on the lower lash line but if you want to share any of your september goals i would love to hear them also it's so wild to me that it's freaking september so crazy next month i go to greece 
my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm also going out to Michigan to see my friend Makeup Molly next month. I'm so pumped. I've never been to her hometown, so I can't wait to see her. Um, it's going to be so fun, but yeah, it's crazy. And I am getting ready to plan my 2025 trips. I've already committed to two in May, one in April and one in September. Okay. Um, but I am going to do another trip with Trova Trip. And that's the tour company that I went to Italy with, with Angie. And then my trip is coming up. We're going to Greece in October, but I am going to do another trip with them next year. So I have a link in my description box. that says like, where should we go next? There's a survey in there that you can fill out of where you want to go, your budget, and also when you want to go. So right now, uh, Bali is winning, which is like crazy to me. And then also France and Switzerland are up there. And I'm like, I'm thinking Bali would be a good choice because um, the itineraries, like it's a little bit cheaper for the travel package, kind of probably depending on where you are, the flights could be more expensive, but France is pretty expensive to go to and Switzerland's pretty expensive, but it could also change because last time, like when I looked like, you know, a couple of months ago, it was like Portugal, which I've always wanted to go to Portugal. So I was like really excited about that, but it was like Portugal, the Greek islands, which was funny. And then maybe France, I think maybe was in there too. So France is still in the, in the running, but I just, I saw Bali and I was like, that's so interesting to me. So, um, I don't make sure if you are interested in doing a group travel, it's been so fun meeting everybody. My vlogs are up from Italy. Like I said, we're taking people to Portland, Maine as well. And we'll have vlogs up with that. I'm going to use the Tartlet XL, but I'm just so excited because these trips have been so fun and I can't wait to see where we go next year. Right now, the top months that are chosen. I think it's August. That's number one. And October was number two from what I see this month around or this time around, it was October. That was number one. So right now it's August and then October, but yes, you can also vote for when would be the best time for you to go. Um, but I'm using the Tartlet XL mascara. I bought this off recommendation from my girlfriend at Ashley. It is going to be included in the Ulta 21 days of beauty. I can't remember the date off the top of my head, but it will be included in there. So I decided if I love it, you know, I can grab like another one the day that it's 50% off. But again, you can check that Alta video and crazy thing. I know it's so funny because like different audiences in different places are just different. I feel like YouTube watchers really hate TikTok, but I'm going to talk about TikTok for a second. But at Ashley is on social media. We've actually created a TikTok page, myself, Ashley, and our girlfriend, Katie. We all just like love football so much. And during the season, we just hang out with each other. We watch games, we talk about games. We're in a fantasy football league together. We created an all girls one last year. Um, we just have so much fun and we make these like fun videos and we just always put them on my account. And I was like, why don't we do something together? Like, you know, so we decided to create our own TikTok account. And of course we're hoping to be able to utilize um, like TikTok shop you know, everyone can say whatever they want to about TikTok, but TikTok shop is literally changing people's lives as is YouTube shopping, as is Instagram, as is social media in general. But I was like, why don't we try to do that? And we can, you know, sell like the shirts that we're wearing. We can sell those on TikTok shop. So that's what we decided to do. And it's just something for us to be able to do together during the football season. And then hopefully beyond, you know, we've posted some videos about like who we drafted in our fantasy leagues. We've posted just like some funny friendship videos. We posted like transition videos when we all went out together the other night of like us starting in our pajamas and then us changing, except for Ashley. She's, she's wearing the same outfit and in both. But it's just like something fun to do with my best friends. And we actually, the biggest thing that we want to do is we want to do a live chat every single week during the entire football game. These really long lives are very popular. Like brands are going live for like eight hours at a time. People are going live for two, three, four, five hours at a time. Like it's crazy right now what live streams are doing. Um, but I was like, you know, we always watch, we, we essentially, we watch all of the games together Sunday, Thursday, Monday, like we love watching the games. I mean, obviously like sometimes people are traveling or have something else going on, but for the most part, we find a way to get together. And especially Sundays are like such a fun day for us. We just make food together and hang out, watch the games. We do some sports betting as well. Um, we have our fantasy leagues and you know, it's just like fun for us, right? But we want to live stream every single week, either the Thursday game or the Monday game. Sunday is just still gonna be kind of our day to just enjoy, watch all the games, but we hope to create content around like the, you know, football headlines, 
how our fantasy teams did, you know, just different things like that. Like last year I was posting like reaction videos to watching my team, the Green Bay Packers, um, in the playoffs. And those videos I felt like were pretty funny and did well online. So, you know, like reaction videos and just, just different things like that, right? But we want to do these live streams during an entire game. So um, if you want to hang out with us live, I'm a little nervous, but like, because if anything can happen when you're live, but it's going to be the three of us. We're going to be watching the games, giving our commentary, probably making food, hanging out with each other, talking about whatever. So it's either going to be the Thursday game or the Monday game that we'll be doing that every week on our own TikTok account, separate from mine. I do believe that you need a thought. I think it's a thousand followers that you need in order to be able to go live. So the first week we or the first why I don't know how long it's we just launched this account this week so I don't know how long it'll take us to get there but again our hope is to be able to do the live streams on our channel we might have to start it with mine first but we were trying to think of a funny like name for us that like made sense to like football but didn't necessarily lock us completely into football but also talked about like the three of us but wasn't like our names because we call each other sacks s-a-k for Samantha, Ashley, Katie, like they're in my phone, like the group chat is called sex. And so like we thought about something like that, but then we weren't sure Then we thought like more like football stuff, but we ended up coming up with the name, the three red flags. So we're three red flags on TikTok. I will link it in my description box because we did have to spell it different because it was taken. So um, it's th the letter three spelled out and then red, but the E is a three and then flags. So three red flags. And we are having so much fun. Like we definitely want to like come up with some merch with it, with the flags and like all the things, right? Um, and just like have so much fun together. So if you are on TikTok and you want to follow us along, I was like, I mean, if it goes well, we can like start an Instagram, but like we also don't really know. And, you know, at the end of the day, we're doing it for fun and something to do with the three of us where we don't have to just be like, just me, like, not to say that I don't mind doing things, but like, we all get a hand in it now. Like everyone gets to like work on the videos and post the videos and look at the comments. Like instead of being like, oh, like what are people saying to Samantha or if they're DMing me or, uh, it's just nice to have like the shared account with everybody so we can kind of all do it together. But that's what we'll be doing during football season. I'm so excited. I think the lives are gonna be a hoot because these are I, just, my friends are so funny. Last year we did like this wine tasting thing. We bought like the Costco wine calendar and we did these wine tasting videos. I was like, we can cook food. We can do like different taste tests with each other. We did a s'mores taste test the other night, which was funny. And I'm just excited to do something with them. And I love football. So oh, the day this video goes live is Packers kickoff. So pumped. The Charlotte XL mascara, I actually only did one coat and I felt like that applied really nicely. I feel like it made my lashes look thicker and longer, definitely darker. I really felt like I only had to do one coat of that. That's impressive. Okay, and Ashley with the recommendations. And then to finish this off, I got this lip combo from Fenty Beauty. I did a little short video recently. The Traced Out Lip Liner in Thugs Blush 2, and then the High, the Gloss Bomb Stick in Riri. I have been very impressed because this lip liner it is definitely a very creamy lip liner. Sometimes creamier lip liners aren't the most long wearing. This one stays. I put this on the other day at like 10 in the morning. I went to brunch. I had like Calbee fried rice and sushi rolls and the whole uh, cookies. Um, went to a day club, had some drinks there. And then I came back to the house to get ready to go to the singles event and my like, Pretty the gloss bomb stick had faded away, which is no surprise it's gloss. But my lip liner and then I fill in my lips was still there. Like I could have even just put on some clear gloss and I would have been like good as a touch up. And I was like, hey, this lip liner is impressive. All right, so there is Thugs Blush too. I do really like the shade Riri. Sometimes I don't go like I feel like it's a little bit more pink for me. Um, I think it's described as a mauve and I almost kind of wish I went more of like a nude brown because that's just a little bit more what I usually wear, but it's still really beautiful. It's a really nice formula. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it because it's called like high shine and I just don't really like shiny. To me, it kind of feels like a mixture between a gloss and an oil and I do love gloss and oils. I don't like, I just don't like shiny, slippery, satiny lipsticks, but gloss and oils. So this like hybrid combination, 
I just think it's so pretty. Like even with the eye look, like I would do more of a brown lip. So that's why I wish I would have gotten a brown nude, but I still think Riri is a really pretty shade, but I've been impressed with the formula on each of these. So I'm happy because this was kind of, I knew I was going to get the lip liner and I was kind of debating on the lipstick, but I am really glad that I got that. So after that, this is my final fall look to match my new fall hair, but I've been really enjoying everything from my Ulta haul, the Fenty lip products, the toasted marshmallow sponge is the cutest. Everyone should buy it. Um, the Natasha palette, I think is really beautiful. I love that formula so much. I'm very impressed with the XL mascara, the timid tomato blush. So beautiful, but that is everything for today. Let me know what you think of this fall look and I'll see you in the next one.